Believe it or not, there's a bit of jolly old England right here in the Queen City. Yeah, in fact, the place the Queen called home was the inspiration for one of the Queen City's high schools, and it's the focus of this morning's unknown story of Western New York. Bennett High School alumni David Harrington, Don Harris, and Neil Harris have some fond memories of walking these halls in the early 70s. For me, what I liked about it, it was more diverse. It was just all these different ideas, and it was, when we went, it was in the 70s, so it was pretty vibrant. The very first day I was there, there was a food fight in the cafeteria. It was wild. I remember I wanted to follow my best friends to St. Joe's and go to school with them, but my parents kind of said, well, you know, you do that, you're stretching us. We're not going to be able to help you with college then, so ended up at Bennett, and I'm so glad it was. At the time, Bennett was regarded the city's top school with such distinguished alumni as model Beverly Johnson, funk star Rick James, and king of the basketball court Bob Lanier. But what these Bennett grads don't know was that another form of royalty was the inspiration for the look of the school itself. Built in 1925, architect Ernest Crimmy found inspiration in the east wing of Buckingham Palace, which was added just a dozen years before. You know, I don't think anybody in any of the classes, even the art classes that I took, brought up anything about the architecture here. We looked at pictures of Buckingham Palace and compared it, and you can see it now. Back then, oh, we didn't care about that at all. All we care, cared about was seeing our friends on the front. I never thought that building was very attractive to begin with. I mean, I transferred from Lafayette. Now there's a gorgeous building. Maybe so, but we can all agree that Buckingham Palace has much fancier school resource officers at the front door. But now the two landmarks share a page within the unknown stories of Western New York. We had our friend David Harrington, of course, worked here at the station for uh, the better part of 78 years, I yeah. think. A guy with a lot of stories, <laughs> so he has, I'm sure, a lot of stories from Bennett. But yeah, once you put the top to bottom, you saw the resemblance yeah. a little bit. I mean, we played high school soccer games at uh, all high behind. I, you know, you never pick up on a thing like that. But then again, I've never been accused of being all that observant, so... <laughs>